Hi there, my name is Brittany and I'm a family nurse practitioner and I'm also one of the NP instructors here at SMMP Reviews. In this video, we are going to briefly review the appropriate screening tools for cognitive impairment. Some of these screening tools involve a lot of details, so I highly suggest checking out our review courses for a deeper review on the topic of cognitive impairment. And if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, go ahead and do that now so you can stay up to date on our latest videos on other topics you might see on your exam. So first things first, who should be evaluated for cognitive impairment? These assessments should be completed for any concerns about memory, cognitive changes, or any deficits. Other concerns outside of memory might include personality changes, depression, deterioration of a chronic condition without a clear explanation, or any increasing ambulation difficulties. Keep in mind that especially with older adults, it is important to first rule out other conditions like infections that might also cause these symptoms. A patient might self-report cognitive concerns or might seek care with a family member or friend who reports changes in the patient's cognition or memory. Cognitive assessments can typically be performed as part of a Medicare annual wellness visit for older adults. There are a handful of screening tools clinicians can use, including MiniCog, Mini Mental State Examination, or the MMSE, and the Montreal Cognitive Assessment, or the MOCA, to name a few. These exams range from very simple assessments to more in-depth assessments in many areas of cognition. So let's start off here with the mini cog. This is a very short and simple three-step exam that can be completed in a matter of minutes. This assessment is separated into three parts. The first one assesses word registration by asking the patient to remember and repeat three different words after the clinician. The second part assesses executive function by asking the patient to draw a clock in a circle with a specific time. For the third part of the assessment, the patient is asked to again repeat the three words from the beginning of the assessment. Typically, a total score of zero to two indicates higher likelihood of cognitive impairment, while a score of three to five indicates lower likelihood of cognitive impairment. The mini mental state examination, or the MMSE, assesses orientation, registration, recall, attention and calculation, and language. This assessment is scored out of 30 points, and scores may change slightly depending on the source, but in general, 24 to 30 indicates no cognitive impairment, and a score of 23 points or lower is considered some form of cognitive impairment and possible dementia. The Montreal Cognitive Assessment, or the MOCA, is another option for a more in-depth assessment tool. It assesses domains including executive functions, visuospatial visio skills, language and naming, memory and attention and concentration, abstraction, and orientation. This assessment tool is also scored out of 30 points, with 25 or below indicating some level of cognitive impairment. I hope this video helps you understand the basics of cognitive assessment tools. However, this is not a comprehensive list of all cognitive assessments. If you are interested in learning more about this topic or other common topics on the exams, please check out our review courses. We also have a free community of students who are preparing for their exams just like you. Be sure to join our Facebook group that is linked here in the description. And here are the references for this video. And definitely check out our other YouTube videos. There are many videos in our channel that cover a variety of topics that can help you prepare for your exams. We're all rooting for you here at SMMP Reviews.